How really can a company learn about communication from a Navy SEAL? Yeah, I kind of think of that question, you know, is, is it better to be, you know, loved or feared? You hmm. know, and I think it's really somewhere kind of down the middle. It's, it's better to be, you know, revered. Okay. If people fear you, then when you tell them to do something just because you have the authority, you have that position, sometimes there's some pride that can come with position. And your employees can kind of pick up on this arrogant pride and uh, you want to get the best out of them when really they're not going to give you their best. They're going to hmm. give you just enough to not get fired or just enough to collect a paycheck at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. So how do you get your message across to them? How do you get them to really run with it, what you're passionate about? You want them to be passionate with it as well. Well, in order for you to be able to communicate a message to them that they're really going to run with, you need from them their loyalty. You want their loyalty. And so we have that in the SEAL teams. And you know, a number of different ways. It really comes down to character. You know, the Navy SEAL humbly serves, so I think a good communicator is one that humbly serves. And humbly serves in what sense? Well, perhaps folks have heard of that style of leadership, servant leadership, mm -hmm. where they're really investing into their employees. They're developing them. They're really looking out for them. And what they're investing into is they're investing into their loyalty. So that when it finally does come time to make a call, they want them to do something. They're almost like a, a sled dog leader, right? Like, yeah, here we go. Their sled dogs are going to give them a good run because they've got loyalty towards their leader. Uh, and we certainly had this in the SEAL teams. You know, our, our leaders were always investing and developing us. And so they had our loyalty. So when it came down to running into a hail of bullets, if that's what it called for, hey, if my assault lead called us to do that, we're going to do that for him. We're going to succeed.